Hey Aries, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast. Now, this is past life reading for couples. Let's take a look if you're really with the right one, or is there, you know, something else that's in store for you? Is this your real final destiny? Or do you only have some karmic ties together? What are the lessons that you have to learn or that you need to learn from this relationship? Let's take a look. Okay, well, this is a karmic relationship that you're with, especially if you're with an air sign, like Gemini. You know, the thing here is, in your past life, um, you used to be a, um, like an herbalist or like a doctor that keeps on traveling and you've had a baby together. Okay. You were married to your karmic soulmate in the past and you're a very spiritual, you know, you you have a very strong faith, but you were, um, you were imprisoned out of, um, like a crime that you did not really commit and you only just uh, stood up for someone. And you were a former Native American. The, the person that you have married in the past is somebody that is very different from you. Like you're two opposites. Okay. And you've lived in a very dire kind of a life or a situation. Like, um, you know, you're not really that rich. But you always, you know, you can always survive. Because you're an herbalist. So people give you whatever they can. <clears throat> not just in the form of money, but they can give you an exchange of, uh, you know, anything that they can afford just by um, you helping them get cured. Now, you've, you're, you keep on traveling as part of your, you know, as part of your living and as part of your job. And the one that you're with before is not really, um, let's say, not really wealthy. And even the job that they had before, it's not really enough to support a family. But the job that you have is enough to, you know, to support all of you. And you've only had one baby or one child. You have already ascended and you've, um, you've decided, your spirit decided to come back here on Earth for another mission. And you have met this um, karmic soulmate of yours. The person that you used to be with is a very low self-esteem. They're very braggart, okay? They, but they are very low self-esteem. They feel so all high and mighty. When they say something, it's like it's to the extremes or, in, or they feel like they are the most gifted ones among others and they feel so superior. But when it comes to their confidence, it's done. It's, you know, it's zero. And because of this, you don't want to, you know, it's like, you're just letting him say whatever it is that he wanted to say because you don't want his suffer uh, sorry you don't want his ego to suffer any further so you just keep quiet about it until that one day that he got into trouble and that he is supposed to be incarcerated but you you stood up for him okay now the thing here is because you love your 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 soulmate or your spouse before in a in a very unconditional way you covered up for him. You stood up for the crime that he had committed. He committed a murder before because he was a drunkard, okay, out of his insecurities. And he tried to prove himself, you know, like he's the macho or, you know, something like that. That he is uh, suffering from his masculinity. And so that one time that he was so drunk, he got into a fight and he killed the person that he got into a fight with. Since that you don't want him to suffer any further, you stood up for him and you covered up for him, and you admitted the crime yourself, without even thinking that you have a baby that you will be leaving behind. You're already, you know, it's like 
you're always away because you've been helping out a lot of people you're already away most of the time just to cure other people and the baby that you have before he is the one who's left that's been taking care of your baby and now that you also <clears throat> now that you've tried to stay you know stay in the well, let's say at home okay for a little while and then he did this because you know that your problem in your marriage has been growing and you want to fix it yet somehow instead of getting it fixed it just became even more worse so you don't want your spouse to suffer any further and he was so afraid to get you know to get to to go to jail so what you did is that you have admitted the murder and you have admitted the uh, the crime <coughs> You actually carried the knife yourself and you, you know, you let the police caught you with that. So since that before, you know, the, uh, the evidence and the, uh, the process of the legal stuff, you know, um, are not that uh, sensitive or sophisticated. So when they saw you with the knife, they just nab you and they just uh, put you into jail. Although I feel like it's um, after for some time that you have already, you know, get out of jail or after being like that, you have suffered tremendously and it had caused you a lot of traumas. Not to mention that he did not even visited you, not even one day. And this just, you know, it's like this had given you that feeling that I have made a lot of sacrifices for this person and I did not even commit this crime because you know you have a very strong faith and you know to yourself that you did not do anything that you just did this for the sake of love <clears throat> because this person is actually your true love even though he's not the first but for you he is the he's your true love your family have disowned you and they don't even want to see you anymore because they really believe that you killed the person apparently for no reason but they did not even bother digging up the truth or knowing the truth and the sad part here is despite of you admitting the mistake or admitting the crime yourself he is the one who you know who went wild and uh, when you got out of it, you know, of the uh, imprisonment, uh, you found out that he already, um, he's already living with someone else, or he already has someone else. You're a type of a person who's very talented and uh, has a lot of skills, you know, especially in music. You have a very cold voice and uh, people love the way you sing, you know, even the way you even the way you play the music or even the way you sing or hum the tune, people already feel so relieved just by hearing it. And the way that people admired you, praise you, give you a lot of, you know, um, what do you call this? Um, give you a lot of praises and, um, uh, I forgot the term. Okay. Give you a lot of, you know, pr uh, praises like that. He hates it and it makes him feel more insecure so you're a very open-minded and uh, you're a very understanding person and you don't like it when he feels this way so okay now please take note that this is a general reading so whether it, it, it be a he or she if you fit into the description whether you're a man or a woman then so be it okay it's a gender free anyway so you have tried to rekindle and you have tried to get reunited but the reaction that you got from him is something that is even more surprising and hurtful that despite of the lies that he you know that he spread uh, to all the people out there because he hates your guts okay he hates that people loved you and he hates that people admired you so much 
So he spread it all throughout and, uh, and to all the people out there that you are the one who's, who really killed a person. And so this is the time that you really step up and, you know, something just inside of you just snapped. And your baby or your child have grown without you knowing or without knowing who you really are. And when you want to, you know, when you want to uh, hug, the, uh, hug your child, they moved away from you including the the husband so the lies that they have built themselves they made it as the concrete truth or they made it as like the truth which is too far from what whatever really happened so there's nothing so you did not do anything until that you just uh, you know lived alone and uh, some people just moved away from you as well nobody wants to keep you nobody wants to get near you nobody wants to give you a chance and nobody wants to help you that through your loneliness and depression this is where you have really thought that you know after being so sacrificial and being so helpful to others and after being too giving and understanding this is all i got in return you're all within the verge of losing your confidence and losing your you know your your faith but then yep you actually felt so alone but you you know you are actually very gifted with some of the advanced knowledge and you have recreated your life again you've started all over again from scratch and you have created some cures and medicines and you moved into a different town you moved too far away just for you to have a brand new life and forget about everything yet somehow there are still times that you are you know that you still remember everything that he had done to you and after a few years you manage to get back on your own feet and rise up again and there was also a time that you because there are three stages okay um once you were a native american or red american or you lived uh in the western in the um in a western country and then around Asia, Egypt, or Middle East. And all of these stages, you've had a very dark kind of living because you're too giving and you're too understanding. It's like you always resurrect people from their sins and from the things that they have done, and you always love them unconditionally. And you always have some problems dealing with your father or you always have some issues about um, having a father of your child or dealing with your own father. So there are some family issues that you have to deal with because in your first past life, your father have disowned you over a confession that you made because you love someone tremendously, you love someone unconditionally. Now, and this person did not even bother saying that, no, it's me and thank you for covering up my ass for whatever I did. You know? Instead, he spread out and he believed the lies that he had created himself. And people really believed whatever he said because, you know, he enjoyed the attention, he enjoyed the apathy, and he enjoyed that people feel so sorry for him. So just because that he feels so insecure and threatened over your generosity and the uh, golden heart okay this is what he did to you now what is your karmic ties or karmic lesson together you have given this person a chance to stay in your to stay in your life and uh, despite of their shortcomings you have loved them unconditionally for who they really are but know that the true love is actually self-love Okay, and there are also some family issues that you need to heal from and that you need to 
um, you need to understand that if you want to be forgiven, you also need to learn how to forgive. You also need to love yourself first. There are some things in this life that, you know, even though they say that it's okay, it's true love, it's unconditional love, you make a stand for somebody, you protect the one that you love. But you also need to know if they are really worth it. You did not even look back and you did not even think about the child that you've had in the past and you just stood there and admitted the mistake or admitted the crime thinking that this person will be very thankful and that they will be appreciating your kind gesture of saving them from being jailed. More or less, I feel like you've been incarcerated for 20 years, but you managed to get to get out of it because you, um, you were paroled or you were, you know, it's like you were set free. Okay, so since that you already came from you know from uh, from heaven and you've your spirit decided to go down on earth again to do another mission you were really guided and protected okay so so in this lifetime okay um you need to free yourself up from covering up for someone you have a very good heart and you have a very good soul but people always take advantage of your generosity and e even if no matter how many times you try to help out others they will always remember you for that one big mistake or one small mistake that you're going to be doing and you need to free yourself up from all those from all those guilt and from all those false promises and you also need to learn how to love yourself the way you love others. You know how to create a cure and you know how to formulate some, you know, some medicinal herbs or some cures, uh, you know, to other people's uh, illnesses. But you also need to learn how to cure your own heartbreak, your own broken soul. Because you have died with such a broken heart and you have never remarried again. You just dedicated yourself helping out others and to thinking about your family, thinking about your child. And your ex-spouse actually died of uh, drinking, okay? And the person that they have um, replaced you with, they also left him. Well, she left him. And about your child... What happened to your child is actually unknown and it wasn't really shown here but you have thought about your child for like until the day you died and your your heart has never been you know like um been whole again because a, a large part of you has been taken out because of someone who lied so much about you or because of somebody who lived in lies okay now the lesson that you have to learn here is that you need to put yourself first you need to love yourself first before others or before your especially before your spouse and do not just make any sacrifices just because that you love your spouse, if, especially if you have a child. You also need to consider some other things and some other, you know, factors in your life. That before making that big step of covering up for someone just to show that how much you love them, you need to consider that there are some other people who will also get hurt. And if you leave, what's going to happen to them? Because there are some other people that's not even worth your sacrifices. And if you are having a hard time right now, that is part of you staying in a very toxic and painful relationship and staying with somebody who's very insecure, that it's time for you to think more about yourself. You don't have to stay in a... You don't have to feel so stuck, okay? In a relationship that feels like an imprisonment or in a relationship that feels like a never-ending struggle.
or that you will be putting up with someone else's insecurities or that you would be forgetting about yourself or your dreams just because that someone feels so bad about themselves and that they cannot really attain the things that you have already attained and that they hated your guts because some because some other people praises you or some other people just really adores you you need to love yourself first and you need to put more things you know into your basket rather than to others so and i feel like you've had three past lives or three stages of your lives with this person um he was previously an air sign and then a water sign and then a fire sign they it's like their um their personalities and the stories are all patterned it's all the same and you will easily you know you will easily know who they are now who is your other soulmate i feel like if you will be breaking through with the karmic lessons of the past from this person that is the only time that you will be you know that you will be um especially that you've been suffering from an unrequited love that's the only time that you will be uh, meeting your twin flame because in your past life in your first past life you did not even bother looking for another love you shut yourself down okay whereas there is another person who um you know he worked as a helper to you and he is younger than you but he you know he felt something that is more than like a motherly love or just a more than just a a friendship okay and this person cared so much for you and he is way younger than you but you did not really pay attention to any other love because you were so busy dedicating yourself helping out others this is the person that is right for you because he also loved you unconditionally despite of you not paying attention to other people who loves you okay anyway that's it for you for this um retrograde aries and if you want to have your own past life um reading for couples just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you